Hello guys and welcome to the third episode of the Architects 3DP Mega Build, a big size and industrial quality 3D printer that we are building step by step from scratch along this series here at Architects 3DP. In the last episode, I finished the design of the structure and also did the unboxing of all the components, including the aluminum profiles and other gadgets coming from Synerges. One of our sponsors for this huge project, that together with you, my Patreon supporters, are making this crazy build possible. Today I'm going to build the complete structure of the 3D printer provided by Synerges. Following their assembly documents that are kind of an IKEA instructions, where we can check where we need to mount every profile and so on. But before starting, be sure to click here in the subscribe button and to ring that bell to be notified when new cool stuff is uploaded. If you do it, it will help me create new content and grow in the channel to reach more special viewers like you. Alright, so I'm not going to lie to you guys. I planned on building the structure of the Architects 3DP Mega here in the room where I make all my videos, but I noticed that this 3D printer is too huge for this space. I wasn't even going to be able to take it out of here once assembled, so I decided not starting here and go downstairs to the living room, where I have more space to work, and also direct connection to the garage that is where I'm gonna keep this 3D printer. Now I'm gonna go downstairs and start with the build, but not before talking to you about today's sponsor, that is no other than Synerges, the company that has provided all the components for this video. Synerges Tecmon is a company with 30 years of experience in commercialization and distribution of technical equipment for industrial handling and transport. They are located in Barcelona, Spain, with an infrastructure dimensioned and designed to offer a leading platform in distribution and assembly of the installations of for the industry. A very special feature of Synerges is that they work with ITEM, a modular construction system focused to the industrial sector with which you could virtually build anything. This system comes with the ITEM engineering tool, an online design tool that will allow you to configure structures using the components of this construction system. I used this tool to build the complete structure of the 3D printer in the second episode of this series, that you can check out clicking in the top right corner or in the link in the description. In the description of the second episode, I have added a link to my project in the engineering tool, when you can directly add it to your cart and proceed with the checkout to get the 3D printer at home in a few days. Okay guys, so as I said, here we are in the living room. I have prepared already all the profiles and connections to build the print bed that is gonna go up and down in the z-axis. I have prepared it according to the PDF document generated in the item engineering software and I have right here. By the way, you can download it from the link in the description. As you can see, it's gonna be this piece right here and in the next pages you can see all the necessary profiles to assemble it. Each profile has a unique code that describes all the mechanizations made, and you can check at the beginning of the document. For example, this profile with the code 2V is detailed right here. You can see the precise dimensions and also that it has two mechanizations, one hole right here and a thread in the hole right here in the opposite extreme of the profile. As you can see, the print bed structure will be composed by five 30 by 30 mm aluminum profiles that as you can see have been pre-machined automatically by Synerges, according to the engineering tool. Also, the union that we're gonna be using for this part is gonna be the standard fastener, as I explained in the second episode of this series. It's composed of two parts, the fastener itself and the bolt, that will hold everything in place. So to prepare the union, we're gonna insert the bolt through the hole as you can see and then screw it into the end of the profile, without tightening it, since we'll need to slide it through the slot of the next profile just like so. We'll slide it through the slot all the way through until we find the pre-machined hole that we will use to tighten the screw from the other side using the Allen key. This is the simple step that we're gonna be repeating along the whole build. I have prepared all the necessary standard unions to build the structure of the print bed of the Architects 3DP Mega. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So I'm gonna go ahead and insert all of them in place. For that, I'm gonna start with the middle bar. So one, and two. Now I'm going to slide them in place, but remember, don't tighten the screws. We're gonna insert the fastener through this slot right here, until here, and the other one right here. As you can see, all the profiles can move, since we didn't tighten the bolts yet. Now I'm going to continue from this corner right here, so first, install the fastener in place, 
and then slide it inside the slot just like so. We're gonna repeat the same process here in the bottom right corner as well. At this point, we only need to install the two fasteners for the profile on the left, and we'll be ready to tighten all the screws and complete the build of the structure of the print bed. So here's one, and the last one. I'm gonna start tightening the bolts through the holes a little bit using the Allen key, but it's important that you tighten them without putting much pressure, since we're gonna do that once we have all of them in place. Also, make sure that the profiles are resting flat in the table before you put any pressure on it, since if you don't, the other unions won't fit properly and the printing surface won't be flat. Once we have the first corner, we're going to go for the second one. Third. Fourth. Fifth. And the last one. Now, one more time, I'm gonna tighten the bolts, but this time putting more pressure with the help of a pair of pliers. So that was one, two, three, four, five, and six. All right, so at this point, as you can see, here we have our print bed structure completely assembled and ready to be mounted on the printer. An also important feature it lays perfectly flat in the flat surface of the table. It is very important to keep it with no bends. But right, so as you have seen, we have just finished the structure of the print bed that is gonna move up and down through the z-axis of our architect's 3D P Mega. At this point that you know how the assembly process works, I'm gonna build the rest of the 3D printer without explaining everything with all the details. But don't worry, you will just need to follow the same steps as we did before. To start, we'll go to the page 39 of the PDF document that you can find in the description of the video, and we're gonna check out this exploded perspective to make sure we pick up the correct profiles. Once the position of the profiles is clear, I have prepared all the necessary profiles to build the bottom rectangle, and as you can see, to build it, we'll also need two of the vertical profiles. Once we have everything ready, I'm gonna start making the same process we were doing before, sliding the fasteners in place and tightening the bolts. I'm gonna let you know with the time lapse of the process. Alright, so that was the last one, and as you have seen, I have already built the base of the structure of our Architect's 3DP Mega. What I'm gonna do now is to install the two legs left to complete the four vertical pillars of the structure. For that I'm gonna flip the frame like that, making sure it's laying completely flat on the table, and tighten the bolts. So here we have the third pillar installed. Finally, I'm gonna go for the fourth and last pillar of the structure. Here we go! As you can see, here we have the bottom part of the structure completely built. So I'm gonna put this away, and I'm gonna prepare the four necessary profiles to build the top ring of our Architects 3DP Mega. So here we have two, three, and four. Now I'm gonna insert the profiles in place according to the instructions that we can see in our PDF and tighten the bolts. That was the first corner. and the second. The other two corners will host the vertical pillars as well, so we'll have to prepare the standard fasteners in place as you can see here, and then tighten the horizontal frame. We'll have to do the same process in both corners, since they are symmetric. At this point we have completed the top ring of the structure, 
And the only thing we need to do is to place it on top of the vertical pillars we attached before and tighten everything in place. Please notice that we previously inserted the standard fasteners in the slots of the profiles since they will attach to the end of the shorter vertical pillars. Now yes, let's jump to the structure and finish the assembly installing the top ring in place. Once the build of the structure is complete, the last thing we need to do is to install the four feet at the bottom. So we're gonna flip the complete structure of the Architect 3DP Mega one more time to prepare the installation. Next, we'll pick up the four feet with the two sliding fasteners. Remember that two of the feet will screw directly to the end of the vertical pillars. So here we go with the first one. and second. Those two were the ones that screw directly to the end of the vertical profiles. And now I'll go with the ones using fasteners. That's the first one. And the last one. I'm gonna flip it to the standing position and here we have the structure of the Architect 3DP Mega complete. As you can see, here we have the structure of the print bed that is going to move up and down through the Z-axis just like so. You may remember that the structure had some internal beams to make it more rigid. The profiles I'm talking about are those two short ones and the very long one here. Well, as you can see, I have them right here, since the design is not finished yet and I don't know yet the exact height I will install them. For the long beam, I initially planned to use the Hewin Railway itself for the X-axis, but since it's very long and the two extruders are quite heavy, I have decided to use this profile in the X-axis to reinforce the axis and avoid any bends in the Hewin railings. Alright guys, so at this point we have reached the end of this episode, with the structure of our Architect 3DP Mega completely built and ready to host the rest of the components of this 3D printer. Remember guys that as always you will find the links for the build of materials, STL files, tools and sponsors down in the description. If you have any question or suggestion about this Architect 3DP Mega, please let me know in the comment section. I would love to answer to all of your comments and get any positive idea that could change the design of the Architect 3DP Mega to make it better. There are still some components that could be sponsored for this build, such as the heated bed heating pads, the aluminium plate, the printing surface or plexiglass panels for the enclosure. If you are a company or you want to be part of this project as well, just let me know through my email architects3dp at gmail.com. Finally, I just wanted to ask you to subscribe to Architects3dp if you still haven't, hit the like button, leave a comment and share this video so more people will be able to enjoy with this project. And as always, a special shout out to our Patreon supporters for making this channel possible. If you want to join them and support the channel as well, you can do it navigating to patreon.com slash architects3dp, clicking here in the top right corner or in the link in the description. Remember that becoming a Patreon, you will get access to all the necessary components for this project as well as all the past projects in the channel and much more rewards that you can check in our Patreon page. Okay guys, so as always, see you in the next video.